Italy. We're going to do an Italian food tour today. We're going to check out an Italian cheese shop, pasta shop, and get some cappuccino and pastries. Oh, thank you. Little Italy in the Lower East Side of Manhattan was once known for its large population of Italian immigrants. Although the blocks centered around Mulberry Street between Broom and Canal are now considered by many as a tourist destination, there are lots of Italian small businesses which are definitely worth a visit even for a native New Yorker. Many shops have been open for close to or even over a century. Oliva Dairy was founded in 1892 by Francesco Oliva. It's the oldest cheese shop in all of America and it's famous for their homemade ricotta and mozzarella and their hero sandwiches. And we're going to go check it out. Do oh, you want some cheese? You can just smell the fresh sausages that are hanging and just the aroma is amazing. They make a dozen special heroes including the San Gennaro, the Oliva, the Tony Danza and the Sophia Loren. This is their homemade fresh mozzarella, which they make daily at the shop. We're big fans of Oliva's heroes, and we love the Oliva, which is a hero with their fresh mozzarella, and roasted peppers, and lettuce and tomato, and it's really, really delicious. Yeah, we have one for lunch, we'll split it, we're good to go. Exactly. Hey, well, honey, I got some rice for you. Hot and some gelato. I got some rice, a handsome man. Easy, don't go crazy. Oh, you ate it one shot? Oh, that's you're gonna hurt your teeth. He loved it. He loved it. <laughs> Ravioli, which is located right next door to Oliva and near the corner of Brand and Mulberry, it was founded in 1920 by the Piemonte family from Genoa, Italy. And we really love all their pastas. They make them fresh here using the family's original recipe. I love the original tile floor. And look at all those fresh pastas. So this is the tricolor pappardelle. I have to say it the Italian way. Yes. And now the spinach is in the middle. Yeah, the spinach is pappardelle. Spinach and tomato basil and black pepper. Okay, so this is the one you're getting now? Yes. Okay, good. Here's the old picture of the original store. It was founded in 1925. And the Lateria is basically like a dairy shop. And they sold their fresh homemade mozzarella and their fresh ragot. I mean, that's what they're known for. But over the years, they expanded. Now, not only do they sell Italian cheeses, but they also act as like a little Italian grocery store and they even have a wine shop. Concetta De Paolo founded this business. I think that's her picture right here. 
and her three grandchildren are running it. Sal, Lou, and Marie. Sal, what are you cutting? This is the Parmigiano Reggiano made in the winter, December 2016. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Look at this homemade mozzarella. We're definitely getting a ball of fresh mozzarella. This is mild, okay? Okay, this is from Sal. Oh, I saw some Parmigiano Reggiano. Good boy, I don't the mother, but good boy. was founded by Ernesto Rossi in 1910. At first it only sold like magazines and books and then they began publishing music from Naples. But now it's um, kind of like an Italian gift shop and they sell um, like coffee pots and figurines and housewares and gift items. E. Rossi and Company is now run by the third generation owner, Ernest Rossi. Hi, Ernest. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. So, cuisines. Yeah. Where at? Right here. Oh, look. It's a ravioli stamp. Uh, this side's good for you. That side's good. That's yeah. Perfect for him. Perfect. <laughs> That's all he needs. He's got so how much energy how, how as old it. Is he? He's seven. Look at these Palermos. Figurines you can't refuse. was founded as a pastry shop in 1891. It was actually called Cafe Ranca when it first opened, and it's been in the same family since 1952. And they make everything fresh right on the premises, and they're known for their great cannoli, their sfaglatelle, their pignoli cookies, and during Easter, they even sell blood pudding. They have many original fixtures including marble tables, the wooden back bar behind the pastry counter, and the pressed tin ceiling. But it's such a beautiful day that most people are sitting outside and that's what we're going to do.
Café Roma, and of course we had to get their traditional cappuccino and a cannoli. And this is the uh, lemon ice. Oh yeah, very good on a hot day. It's really delicious. So, we had to get another cannoli for the road, of course. We had so much fun in Little Italy today. We visited a lot of Italian food shops. We got Italian cheeses and pasta, cannoli, cappuccino, Italian ice. We had so much fun. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed our food tour through Little Italy. Please hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and share it if you liked the video. We'll be posting another area of Bushwick, Brooklyn in our next video. Bye guys! Bye guys!